and welcome to another episode of Carbs, the only show where I sit in the car and be as well consuming carbs, baby. Man's Eye in here, going it alone to try what I'm assuming is a Mexican version of Ruffles that I got at 7-Eleven. These are Ruffles Ultra Flaming Hot. Uh, we do have Ruffles Flaming Hot out here, I believe at least, uh, but I, I've never had Ultra. And just by looking on the back, yeah, it says it comes from Mexico. Uh, so it's so weird. Like lately, 7-Eleven has been uh, like serving a lot of Mexican products or like a lot of like Mexican variations on products. So like Cheetos, which we're going to try eventually, Ruffles, Lay's, like they, I don't know what's going on. I'm in Southern California. I mean, that makes sense because it's very close to the border. But uh, what an interesting move on their part to do that. I wonder, this has to be regional. Like if you live outside of California, uh, do you have the, like the Mexican products in your chip aisle now? I, this is only a recent thing for us. I think maybe the last six months and I've just been kind of ignoring it, but now I'm looking for content since of course I can't have the guys over all the time. Uh, and so I was like, let's try it out. Flaming Hot stuff. What are your thoughts on Flaming Hot products? I know it's very, like, I think I'm in the minority on this. It's not very divisive. Most people love Flaming Hot products overall. I don't. I always think that they take, they always take it like a little bit to the extreme in terms of heat. Like I can have a couple of Flaming Hot Cheetos, but then after you've done like maybe, you know, half a mini bag or whatever, it's just too hot. Like it's just too hot and it just doesn't work for me. I just prefer like regular Cheetos. Uh, Ruffles, one of my favorite chips growing up. You know, classic little story was every Halloween, my mom would make hot dogs and we should make like a custom onion dip and we would do like eat ruffles and hot dogs and shit before going out uh, and, and, and taking str strangers candy, which uh, I can't believe that that's still a thing, by the way. I can't believe that hasn't been nuked yet. I mean, like, I'm glad it hasn't. You know, I'm glad that we've still somehow trusted strangers despite the fact that there's no fucking way I would ever trust strangers anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, let's try out. The Ruffles Ultra Flaming Hot. Oh wow, the texture is super different than ours. Well, that's more like a kettle chip than a Ruffles. Mmm, got great flavor. Wow, that heat is something. Oh wow. Oh my gentle Jesus. Whoa, you if you gave me this, had me close my eyes and I didn't know what it was, you know, one, if you put a penis in my mouth, I'd be very upset. I trusted you. Two, I would say, like, I would not, I would not associate this with Ruffles at all. There's nothing, this has nothing to do with Ruffles. Texture's different, flavor's different. Overall aesthetic, uh, aesthetic of the bag, different. This is, uh, this is a different kind of product for sure. Oh man, that heat is creeping up. That is hot. I don't think you could do more than like maybe 10 of these before you start losing it. Although I know some people love them you know, hate fucking their mouth, but I, I don't think these are bad. I don't think they have anything to do with ruffles though. So, I mean, like maybe Mexican ruffles over there are totally different than ours. I don't know. Uh, but one thing I do know is that guy is cool as fuck. Dude, this guy got his dick sucked in high school. 100% at least one or two cheerleaders took this guy on to Potato Pound Town. So uh, I like these. I don't love them. Again, I think that if you're a flaming hot person, you probably will just absolutely destroy the bag. Uh, I, I've had enough. I'll probably just, you know, save a couple and I'll have them here and there when I want to clear my sinuses out or something like that. Uh, but I'm going to rate them a very, very high three out of five, almost a four. But that heat, that heat is just way too, way too much. Uh, like, I just couldn't do it. I'd rather just have regular ruffles at that point. So either way, though. Thank you for watching uh, and enjoy this clip. The link is down below to Twitch. See you soon. How's the car? Okay. Turn 30 in March. Enjoy it. <coughs> in I should probably listen to the mission. Reckless eating! Reckless eating!